Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umwaka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you Pi Foundation Detailing. Okay, so by the end of this video, you will be learning how to detail a Pi Foundation starting from the Pi cap to the grade beam and to down to the Pi Detailing. Okay, so basically, I have, not, I have been away for the past two weeks. I went for offshore um, project. So I'm just coming back from the offshore project. And um, this was the building I was working on before I got a call for the offshore work. Okay, so I'm back currently and I want to enter into the foundation detailing for this building project. As you can see that this is a live project that and this is for Mr. Shina Ogaga semi detached building. Basically, this building is, is in Lagos, Nigeria, and the and the site and the and the soil tends to be very, very bad that they could only encounter a good soil at 28.5 meters below. So that, that is why we have to use a deep foundation, and then we chose a pie foundation for that, and which I have done for which i have done also the pi foundation design for this building before leaving for the offshore project so now that i'm back the client actually is on my neck trying um saying i should issue the job so i'll be performing the the foundation detailing because i've already done all the super structure um, um drawing before i left so it is only it is now left on the pi foundation detailing so basically if you look at this building right now you can see that this is just a one-story building and then having and um, also having a pi foundation okay and if you look at the um the plan view here you can see that we have already done my pi cap layout and also my pi cap design and also my pi design okay and um, i think after this um project the next video I will do on 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 this channel on the on like on design will be on Pi Foundation because I have not really taught you guys how to design Pi Foundation, but I'm sure I'm very sure that here on Ekide we have taught you how to design Path Foundation, Y Steel Foundation, and also Raft Foundation. But the only two I have not taught you is is a slab raft foundation and then this Pi Foundation. So I'll teach you this Pi Foundation, but 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 not today, but anytime um, the on, on let me say the month of April, yeah, the month of April I'll teach you that, and also this coming month, which is April, will will I make us one year on Ekidel, and also we will be us we will also be let me say um, celebrating one year of God's faithfulness here on Ekidel, and then we will also give out most of our um. Um, packages and also products like Stonebridge templates, Casey Soft, and other kind of um, softwares for our, our, around either seventy five percent um, bonus or thereabouts. Okay, but for now we are just thinking of that first. Okay, so basically to, today I will be showing you the Pi Foundation detailing for this. Okay, so without much wasting time, let's just dive in right now for the Pi Cap Foundation detailing for this building as you can see it here so always pay attention because this information detailing would take time you take up to more than one hour to finish up okay or even more than three hours actually because this is a pie foundation and everything must be put into consideration it's not really a fast one okay and then because we have we have to design for we we, we have to um, do the pie cap detail then the pie detail and the plain bin detail so that's why it will take longer time although we will be using the stone bridge template for pie detailing okay so just pay attention and then let's move on to the next video which is the um pie cap foundation detailing okay so we love you and then if also you have been watching our video for the past how many months now and then you have not subscribed to our channel i will urge you to please subscribe to our channel it's not for only our own good it is all it's, it is also for your own good so that you don't miss any of our series of videos that we will be uploading and also if you're new on ekidel for the for the people that have let me say for the people that have that that have already subscribed for the past 14 days that we are that that um that um we are not around i will say you're welcome and then we love you here on ekidel and here on ekidel we teach basically full structural design and also 
detailing and also we will train you to know what you're meant to do as a good civil and also a structural engineer okay so thank you so much and then watch out for this so watch out now for the next video which is the detailing right now okay hello welcome to ekidel we are train future civil and structural engineer my name is justice Omaka. i am your instructor today i'll be showing you how to detail a pie cap okay as you can see this um this um layout here you can see that this layout is a pie cap layout basically this design was done this pie foundation design was done using Pulta structure software and then we are using the stone bridge structural detailing template to now perform the the foundation detailing for this pie foundation okay so if you like if you look at this right now you will see that um, this is the stonebridge company detailing template catalog so if you want to know more about stonebridge i would say you should check um most of our videos to um see how this this um stonebridge template helps a lot in your um helps a lot in your detailing after you're done with your puta social design okay as you can see that we have different tabs here and then i am performing currently on the pi foundation as you can see there building on pi foundation okay so let me now go back to where i am right now currently okay so this is now the pi um, layout and this is the template for pi foundation for stonebridge template okay so right now let me just show you this was the expected file from Porta structure so as you can see that this is how um the software Porta structure gives its beam details but if you use the um if you use the stonebridge template you will be able to um, see how it will be done. As you can see that the sample of what we have here, this is how your beams will be done after you're done, after you're done using this stone bridge for your detailing. Okay, like I said again, if you want to know more about this stone bridge company template, I would say you check on, on, on our videos and you will see how this is very, very helpful, which helps you to perform detailing after you're done with your design in Porta structure. And as you can see, it has different tabs building on, on part foundation and on white slip foundation, on wrap foundation. In, in fact, it is a complete template to perform structural detailing, basically, if you are using um, the software Porta structure. But even if you're not using the Porta structure, you can still use the template for other um, parts of um, like um, softwares for design. But this was basically built with um, to like um, fitting with the software Porta structure. Okay, so let me just save the breadth of explaining more about this template because I've done I've done more videos about about this Stonebridge template, so which you can watch. On my channel or check on the link down below and watch that and also if you need this template i would say to check on the link down below also and download that okay it is quite expensive but i but i know it is not up to um 40 dollars but, but but i know it is less than that okay so okay so you can you, you can also go and um, check on google also and then about the template stonebridge okay so right now i want to perform um you can see that this this um drawing was exported from Porta from um from the Porta um, um software detail and this was the pi foundation layout that came from the Porta structure as you can see it here as you can see that this is the pi cap and also this is also pi cap of of um, three pies and this is pi cap of four pies and you can see that this is the pi design and also the pi de detailing up to i think 30 meters yes up to up to 30 meters that's the length of the pi yeah okay 31 meters yeah that's the length of the of this pi of of, of this pi okay so right now this is now the um stone bridge version of this pi of this pi layout which you just saw this was brought from the software portal structure and this was done using the stone bridge template okay so right now i want to now perform the pi cap detail 
of each of these Vegas pies, as you can see, pie capacity here, that we have. And I have also brought them out, as you can see, to perform different pie cap details right now. I have to bring them out separately, which I have done here, as you can see it here. I've already done it here, so I'll just take this off right now. So I want to now perform my pie detailing, which from this template, we already this template this template already gives us sample of um of the pie of the pie cap layout of of each of them so this is the pie cap layout for um for 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 four pies as you can see there so and also you can also see the bending radius of how you are meant to bend all your reinforcement that is involved in this pie cap layout okay and also you can see your um chia but you can you can you can also see your chia rebounds as you can see there which is also done in um okay so and which which we which we sit directly on this pie cap which will now separate this top bar and this bottom bar together okay so right now i want to perform the detailing for this um for this four type of um pie cap which is uh, first of all this is a single pie and this is a this is a this is a this is a double pie and this is a four um pie cap layout arrangement like four pies arrangement and this is um three pies arrangement which i did on the design with putter structure now if you want to learn about pie design using putter structure i would say that you can subscribe or enroll for what we call ekidel special mentorship class we will train you very well on on how to perform your design and also detailing so if you are interested either you can hit us up on using our using our phone number via the whatsapp platform or you can click on the link down below and also um and, and then also enroll for our for our training but it is specifically it is not free but it is around 300 dollars basically currently we are on promo that's why it is 300 dollars else basically the the cost of it is 750 dollars per four weeks so that training runs for four weeks and in that training you will learn you will learn full structural design up to up to up to 10 stories and also uh, and also 15 stories that is where you have to uh, design for pi foundation and also we will also teach you part foundation and also street foundation and in fact basically everything about design and also design and also and also uh, and also detailing of um, building okay so right now um to know more about that um stone bridge sorry to, to, to know more about that our um training you can just check on the course outlines under the link and then you will see um what you have to know after the end of the training which is the ekidel mentorship class okay so right now i want to uh, perform my pie cap detail so since i have three types of pie cap here the first thing to do once you're done with your pie foundation and pie cap layout as you can see it here is now begin to copy um um it's, it's, it's now begin to copy each of the pie cap that you have as you can see on this plan we have we have pie cap one and colon one so this is this is a, this is a sample of pie cap one and pie cap one is a four pies as you can see there this is a four pies arrangement we are did we are did we are we are this is the pie and this also the pie and this the pie and this the pie and this here is the column and this here is the um is the pie cap this one that is here okay so it's to just to copy them out so which which i have done here i have copied this um this one pie here i have copied it out here and i've copied this um this um three pie cap example here and also copy this this um double pie here this two pie here and also this four pie this four pies arrangement here which i have done that here okay so i have done this here right now so right now i want to now begin to uh, now perform this pie cap this pie cap um, detailing of which without this template it will take you time to perform this daily but with it but with the help of this template you will see how i will not waste longer time to perform this pie cap detailing first of all right now i'll just go to this sample right now although this is this is this this is not a complete sample if you 
if you have if you use the, this um template a, a bit you will see um different um like a full like a full version of um this pi um this pi um this pi foundation template okay so right now i will now first of all start from this so i'll just copy what i have here first copy what i have here first let me just copy it from the bottom line here copy it out first and then come around here and keep this let me just uh, remove this here okay and i'll just circle this here no now the reason why i'm circling this to be sure that this is the one i am working on and this is the one that came with the templates so the whole idea is to make what you have here to look exactly what you have here but not with but not with the um not with the steels because this steel that is here has its own came with the template but this particular one right now has a design report which we got from the um from the software portal structure so when you get to the steel area you will just edit what you have to what is to like what it is on your reports okay so to see that report here i think this this is the um folder of what um this is the for let me just open the folder actually this 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 job was basically for a client um for a client let me just open the folder okay yeah it's the and this client came from my youtube channel so this guy gave me job mr daniel okay let me just open it right now and then i uh, open up the the report which i have okay this is the pie cap layout okay so right now i want to start with let me say pie cap um I want to start with the pie cap um C okay pie cap C1 okay I want to start with the pie cap one as you can see it here PC1 pie cap one so I'll just go here right now and then open up my pie cap one design report as you can see as can, and also you can see that this I did this um design last week as you can see 16th um of March 2023 okay so I'll just open it right now up which is which is the report open it up right now and then wait for it to open okay so you can now see that this is now the pie cap report which i did and you can see that the pie cap depth is giving us and uh, it was one is in 1.1 and the pie cap dimension is 197 1975 as you can see it here which is also um here as you can see here if you confirm this right now okay you can also see it here and if you confirm this right now you will see that it's 1975 you can see there by 1975 so this so that's this here this year is the uh is the reports so if i want to know what what this my four pies um four pie cap here this um four pie or this pie cap one here is i'm saying if i want to know what it, it, it what is saying i'll just come and read and read this this um this and reports as you can see it here so from this report now i'll see everything i need to know about that pie cap as you can see it's also showing me my uh it's also showing me if i want to see see my button and top and for the for the pie cap i'll just go down to the place that says pie pie yeah you can see there rebounds as you can see there so right now you can see that on, on this place that says reinforcement the base x and the base y as you can see it here is um um i have i have 10 numbers of them that is thin are spacing 200 both x and y direction but why the top it gives me um 10 numbers of of um, y12 at 200 spacing and then for the for the sidebars i have five year three three as you can see it here and bar size is 12. okay so right now let me just go back first of all and let's let's first of all draw the elevation of this pie cap okay so basically to draw this elevation now for this pie cap i'll just move this down to this place here i would have been going all the way down now to be doing something like this xl enter v enter and then bring out this first and bring out this first and then begin to bring out this this pie arrangement this pie cap. okay i can choose to leave here first and then i will now go again xl enter h enter and do this right now and then go to my reports here and then look at the depth of my pie cap here which says here uh 1100 millimeters i see there for the pie cap depth i will now go here right now and then say oh enter which is offset 1100 enter and then come here right now and then offset this either down or up okay and then i will now come here right now and then say here trim this off trim this off and then trim this off 
and off here okay and off here and off here okay and then i will now come here right now change to any color let me let me just use green right now and then xl enter to sorry xl enter to now extend out my um pies out like this and pies out like this and then column out since the column is used uh, they used a pink line or let me say magenta i'll change to magenta right now and then come here right now and then click at this place t arrow and then trim sorry um you enter to undo so click here t arrow to trim off this because this column start directly from the pie cap and not then on this place right now I'll click here right now t arrow t which is trim and then trim off this pie here and then trim off this pie here as you can see and i'll come here right now click on line and just let me change this to magenta color and then come here right now click on this place and then click here and then do something like this which simply means um continuation line as you can see it here okay and then continue like this and then come here right now t out trim and then trim this off okay and then come here and then do this all the way down here okay and now i can now come here and let me just reduce this also here okay come here right now and change it to um gray which is simply a hidden um gray color okay and i'll come here right now and then um come here click on this t out trim and trim off this and trim off this okay i cannot come here right now and then do this something like this now circle click on circle and then come all the way down here and i can do okay i can just do this also here I can just um, locate this first, locate this middle here, this middle here, and then click on circle, and then click at this, and then click at this. Okay, let me just take this off. I can, sorry, I can choose to do this like this too. Um, get this center first. Okay, and then come here right now, and then find this center also. I'm just showing you if you if you to do it manually. But with the help of these templates, we now begin to use the templates of what we have here to now perform that and this Python. You, you will see that it will take us more time than what we have just now. So I can do this right now here and then remove this, remove this, okay, and remove this also. And then go here again now, CP or CO, which means we need to copy and copy this to this place. And then come here right now, trim off this one and then trim off um, this one, okay and this is just to form a continuity line for a circle i can choose to reduce this if i if i want and then this also if i want like this and then change this right now to um gray color and see our trim to trim off this and then do this also and then copy this right now okay i can choose to um make this one full by copying this to this place here Okay, yeah, this is how it looks like. And then I can copy this right now. C P or C O means copy up to this place here. And then keep this here. And then highlight this and T out trim and then trim this off. So you're gonna see that we have just successfully bought out this pie car, but we are trying to get what we have here. As you can see there right now. So this is how to bring it out. But this is taking longer time, as you can see what I've just done right now. It, it took me over many, many minutes to do this. And we and also we have not even done one 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 fourth of what we have here okay so right now the whole idea is to show you how to make use of this template because since we have this template it is like a macro so i'll just go here right now and then remove this just move this now out here move this out so once you have your pie cap and then knowing that pie caps have different um have different um shapes have different shapes based, based on the Based on the number of pies, so you will just go right now and look at it and look at it and look at the number of pie you have on your own pie cap layout. And if it is four, you just go to the template and then copy four. If it is two, you got just gonna copy two. Uh, but the, 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 there is a full complete one which comes with this template here, where you have all types of um, pie caps and the sizes and also the and also the and also the detailing. Okay, so right now. Let's now begin to make use of what we have here right now. So to do this um, pie cap detail right now, or to show the elevation, I'll just go here first of all and extend this XL and extend this out and extend this out. So this actually the boundary of my pie.
cap so i'll now go here right now and then copy let me just remove this entirely now let me just delete this and then go, go to my templates here and copy and copy this elevation which i want to create now just look at what i'm doing right now i'll copy this right now which i want to create cp or co and i'll copy this from here right now and then go over this place here yeah i have this now and then paste this somewhere here now i will now begin to now modify it to what i have okay so right now you can see that the actual length of this one of this our pie cap here which we are trying to create is um one seven one nine seven five as you can see it here and this one that is that that came with the software that came with this template is uh let me see two four i can see they are two thousand four hundred so i'll have to now make it to look to look what we have here okay so to do that right now i'll just right click on the i'll just come here right now highlight this and then hold my shift key to, to not take off this one and then type x to stretch and stretch this from here to this place here okay that's fine okay so right now if you can check this now from this point now to this point we now have that you can see that we now have one nine um seven five as you can see it here so we have achieved first of all the width now this column that is here already is not centralized as you can see here but from this our from this our main empire cap here it is it is at the center as you can see and confirm that if you confirm from here to here you can see that this is um one one eight eight sorry eight uh, one three and from here to here uh is also 813 so basically this column is meant to be at the center of the pie cap and from our sample here since we did that small uh, that small uh, that small adjustment it has shifted so we will now have to align it now to do that right now i'll just go and change my color to red and then just to get my center line xl enter v enter i'll align my center line from this place here first and i'll offset this out and this column edge out and i'll change the column line to uh, let me use magenta or let me just use blue first for the for the for the main time i'll use blue right now so i have to now go and align my column here this is my column to what i have inside this blue so and also we can see that this column size that came that that, that is here which is which is our main one is um 350 but the one that came with this um this thing here with this sample is um 500 as you can see it here 500 so i'll have to adjust it now to what i want to to have what i have so first of all i'll have to first of all um copy this first no sorry move it move it first i'll move this here right now to this place and keep this here and then i will now move this center line here that is here now and move it to fit in this center line here okay and i'll move this line also here to fit in this this and blue line here okay to fit in here okay and i'll now um move this back to this place and move this here okay and then i'll now um change this one right now to this place and it has changed to i can see there it has changed to 30 because everything on this template was done to scale so while you are doing your own adjustment it will be it will it will just be uh moving and also fitting in uh, like, like like to fit in what what you're doing okay so right now i'll just go here right now and then um straight this out and also uh, reduce this a bit reduce this extension line a bit okay that's fine and i'll this k right now i'll have to um adjust it okay that's fine and then i'll change this right now to this column diameter this column dimension is um our column the dimension here of this four pi is uh okay this one they are working on right now sorry is from this to this is two to five by um 350 okay so i'll go here right now and say this column which i'm pointing right now sorry is two to five two to five by um 350 okay millimeter okay that's fine sorry not 3500 350 okay and that's column so since i've done the column now i cannot choose to go and remove and remove this one which i have just which i used to trace it out i'll remove this remove this oh sorry sorry remove this and then you move this also e enter and that's off okay and then since i also have my center line here already i can choose to remove my center line from here from here now because i've already established one here so i cannot choose to bring this out okay i can choose to yeah bring this out down first 
and come in, bring this out down first, and then take off these um, stuffs here, and then copy this one. This, this thing simply means this CL simply means center line and paste this here. Okay, that's fine. Now I have I have aligned my my column and the size based on what I have on this my pie cap here. Okay, so right now I will now begin to align my 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 um my um pies. So I'll just do again, change it to blue again, and XL enter V enter, and I'll align from the pie and from here also. And then I will have to change to red to now use for my pie um for my pie center line. XL enter V enter our line. I'll I'll trace it out from center line here, and then I'll have to now check what this diameter of this pi cap is saying first. From here to here, this pi is saying 500, but what we have here on our on on our re um, project is 450, as you can see there. So right now, I'll have to um first of all, as you can see, I'll have to first of all let me see if that's fine. Align this from here right now and move this backward. Let me just move this backward. Move this backward to fit in there. Okay. And then this um, center line for the pie, I'll move it into the center line that is already traced, traced here. And then let me just remove this one. Okay. Let me let me leave that face. And then here also, I'll move this center line into what I have here from here to here. Okay, and I'll move this text, this line now, right now. Sorry, here, this line, and here, and here, to fit into 350 to what I have. I'll move this backward. Sorry, move this now backward. Okay, and then this text here, right now, I'll just stretch it in here to fit in here, and also here to fit in here. Okay, and here to add uh, to be adjusted to this place here. Okay, that's fine. And then I'll have to trim off this, so I'll move this also to fit in here. And see, I'll trim, trim off this, and then um, SL extend and extend this and extend this, extend this and extend this here. Okay, and extend this also. Okay, and extend this line. And extend this line and then move this inward okay and then see how trim trim this off okay that's fine and i'll now um stretch this soil this soil is soil under this um blinding and i'll choose to um stretch this outside because this place is a pie which is meant to be a concrete and, and, and not a soil okay so right now i have just i'll now come here see how trim and trim off this okay and then trim off this uh, also. Okay, that's fine. Now I can now go right now and select this my pi extension line which I traced out, and then remove it. E enter. Okay. So and then I can go again right now. Remove this my center line here and here also. E enter. Okay. So I can now choose to highlight here first. Click on this. Remove the line like there and here also remove. Okay. So right now. We, are, we will now go over to, to, to what we have on our report. So what is the dimension of this of this pie of this pie penetration into the pie cap? So go to go to our go to our report now. Uh, and our report says that the pie penetration here, this pie penetration into, into this pie, this pie penetration into this pie cap is um giving us um pie penetration distance as you can see here. It says it's 100, as you can see the hundred. So I'll go and confirm, I think. That this this template was set to 100 too. So let me just confirm if it is 100. Okay, as you can see, it's 100. That's fine. So that's why it's also here 100. I can see the 100 to 100. Okay. So right now again, I will now go and check my lean concrete. What is the what is my lean concrete thickness? We will also find that in our report, which on this pile report. Let me just go down. You see it lean concrete. Lean concrete should be done, 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 done. Let me see down here. Lean concrete, let me see that. If it is not there, I did the design, so I, I can also tell you what the value is. Let me see if this if this um software brought out the value for the lean concrete. But if it is not there, I'll just tell you what I used. Uh, let me see, it's not here, it's not here. Okay, it's not here too, it's not here. 
is not here let me see it's not here okay basically i used 50 as my link concrete so right now you can see that here from this from, from this template the template gave 75 first of all let's go and change this now because we have just and changed the pi knowing that this pi diameter is um 450 and the and we have also changed it here by just doing small adjustment and 450 and also here 452 so we will just come here right now and change the this this and right up here to 450 diameter okay so so whenever you make changes always change the test pointing to 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 to, to that element which, which which you have changed okay so right now i'll have to adjust this link concrete now if you confirm that like i said this template everything here was done to scale so if you confirm this right now you can see that this is 75 as you can see it here and i used 50 for my design so right now i'll just go and adjust it so i'll just ha highlight everything here these two and this soil here and also this and this and also um this and this and then i'll move it up by 75 so i can just go here right now i'm um, okay I, I, I can also choose to shrink it actually yeah i can choose to shrink it basically so i can choose to select um from here um to here right now and then shrink it using the shrink i'll shrink now by 75 so i can choose to shrink it by by 25 because 75 minus 25 give us 50 okay up okay oh i don't want to use shrink again because shrink is giving me some issues here okay let, let me just adjust it basically right now by highlighting these stuffs here and sorry let me just uh, unselect this okay and then this two sorry this here and then this to this and then move by 75 i'll pick any point here by seven by 25 sorry and then i can choose to now if you check now from here now to here you can now see that this is 50 so i cannot choose to adjust this um test this this line here okay so to you can see that you can adjust this line basically so i'll just remove bring this line out just now first and i'll go and draw a new line on this place I'll bring out all these lines out. This symbol simply means insulation, which I'm using my symbol for my line concrete. So I'll go here right now and go and change my line type and use button, as you can see there, but button. And I'll go here right now and click on this and then click at this right now from this point. Let me first of all get my center. I can choose to click here from this point to this point okay this now click on this right now and then uh, i'll type um, ch enter and i'll just go and change this um scale this k here to 0 0.5 um, sorry 0 0.5 not 0 0.5 0 0.5 and i'll click anywhere anywhere there and if you check that you can see that it's entering so let me just use um 0 0.75 0 0.75 sorry seven five let me see and click anywhere here no that's too big let me use zero point six five okay that's that's not fine zero point six no that's not okay that's a bit okay actually so i can do that and then go all the way down and shift this up here okay that's fine can i use match property right now and match from this to this okay no and instead of the match I'll, I'll just check what color was used here i'll see you can see that it's the use hidden line so i'll go here right now and change this to hidden line uh hidden lines and then come here and change to this and then make it 0 0.3 0 0.09 so that it won't, it won't be thick it won't be it's not so thick so since we have changed that one now i will now come here right now since i've changed this dimension this um link concrete dimension to, to 50 i will now come and come here and change that to 50 here to 50 here okay and also come here first of all let me take this off right now and then come here right now and change here to 50 or let me just since it's done to scale i'll just adjust this point here and it will change as you can see there automatically okay so right now 
Okay, so right now, I will now come and draw um, this other one here. On that still my baiting line, button line, sorry. I'll click this here, match up at this right now, and match this right now to this. It will fit in there automatically. As you can see, they can choose to adjust this a bit up. Okay, that's fine. And then line again, line again, sorry, and then come here and then click at this. Now, if you can see, if you own um, this is not, not set like this, to click on like and type L, enter, which simply means line. Now come here right now and then put this bits in line here and match up at this right now to fit into this into the space given to it. Okay, so you can now see that we have done that also this one now. Now coming back again right now, I will, I will adjust this one here right now from this point to this point and from this point to this point. Okay, sorry to this point here. That's fine. That's correct. Okay, so coming again right now, our um this thing is one point one. Our um pi cap depth is 1.1 so i have to confirm if it is 1.1 yeah 1.1 and if you check on our on our reports to our report is saying that the depth of pi cap is 1.1 okay okay so right now again i will now okay i've already done that before i i think so I can choose to point this one out to point directly to what i'm saying that this is a pi cap i'm pointing out let me just come here and then come here and do this here. That's fine. Okay. So right now, I want to begin to now adjust these distances here. Since 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 this is drawn to scale, I'll just come here and then click on this point and this on this one. Okay. And then come here again right now to this point here and click here. Okay. So this this is this. Let me just take this off right now. I and just dimension dimension it back again, which is from here to here. And then I'll come here right now and then click here. Match up artist right now to match this in dimension. That's fine. Okay. So basically, right now, this is now the distance of pi to the edge of the pi cap. I can choose to also uh, move this one, extend this right now to this place. Okay. And then, since I've done that right now, now on this place now, since my link concrete is 50, is 50 millimeter, I'll come here right now and change this level. To 0 0.05, not 75 again, 50. Okay, that's fine. And then since this place here, from here, from the from the base of this pi cap, which is here, to the to this place, which is the um pi, which is the pi penetration, uh, which is the pi penetration into the pi cap is 100. I'll come here and just leave it as it is there, 100. Because from our design here, the design says it is 100, as you can see it here. They say pi, this pi, this pi pension distance is 100, as you can see it here, 100, as you can see, 100. Okay, so I'll just minimize again right now. And then the level of my pi cap, my pi cap dimension is 1.1. Also from our design here, which is from the import is 1.1. I can see there, 1 to 1 millimeter. So I'll just go here and just leave this one as it is here, as you can see. Else, I'll just change it to 1, 1, 1.10. 1 Since all these ones are measured in meters and not millimeters, else I would have put um I would have put 1,100. But it is always good to leave your levels in meters. Okay. Now this is now um called final grade um, sorry finish grade level so i can go here right now and then put here finished grade level okay sorry cut out the f okay that's fine okay so right now we are almost done with what we're doing right now so since we have done with everything about this top here right now let's now go here right now and then begin to adjust these dimensions that we have here okay so right now from this place to this place is 200 because if you check from our from our from our own reports here from our report you can see that edge distance edge distance is 200 200 so the edge distance from pi to pi cap must be 200 from that is from the report although there are also there are like this is now from the pi to the pi edge to, to the pi cap edge is 200 and also here to 200 200 okay let me adjust this here and keep this well okay that's fine okay well when i'll be showing you the these pi designs that is when i'll tell you all the principles that, that you're meant to know but but those people already on our on the that, 
that is already on our training, special training, which is a paid course uh, or, or paid training, they have already learned all, all, all these ones here. Okay, so you know, it's not, it is not everything we like give out for free here. Despite that, we try our best to teach, um, to, to like teach deep here on, on our free channel. We still, um, we still give those people that are, that are, that are passing through paid paid and trainings or paid courses to learn also deeper okay so right now we will now adjust this one right now by clicking here and this there i said again this thing was drawn to scale so as you as as you are done um as you are done uh let me say adjusting what you have to fit into what you have to what your current design says then once you begin to adjust your your that your dimension, they will just be fitting into what you have there. I'll click here again and then adjust this now to change it to as you can see there. And then this one basically comes from this center line. So I'll come here right now and then change choose to it and shift it. It will adjust. And then also here, also come here, also click here and then it will adjust also. And then okay, that's what I have there. And it is not good to 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 have a line passing through this like this so what i'll just do right now i'll just first of all stretch this down here first onto this place here and also stretch this down first onto this place here now whenever you have line crossing the test it is not good that is a bad drawing or let me say bad way of detailing so i'll just press press or b out simply means break and break the line of the, the that line passing through the test and break it off. I can see what I'm doing right now. I'll break it off from here to here also. And then from here to here now. Okay, that's fine. I can choose to bring this down, down here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so someone seen that can so someone seen now now know that yes that this 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 is a very good one because if you can print it like like this here, some might, might be after printing, they might be seeing that this line is it like tend to cancel what, what what is here. So always break something like this away. Break the line off by using B out to break it. Okay, that's fine. I will adjust this now from this point here to this point here. Okay, that's fine. And also adjust okay, that that's already okay. And then B out break. Uh, sorry, B out break and break from this point here to this point here and continue. Okay, that that that's okay so right now you cannot see what we have got so far you cannot see so let's now remove this one here because we have just done for this we are we are done with this now so i'll remove this right now from this place here okay that's good that's beautiful okay so right now you cannot see what you have just done so far and so good now and then on this our uh, pie cap now there is um we will now have to di dimension this very well so i'll just remove this first of all and remove this here this is the, this is the one that came with the software I'll remove this and then remove this column dimension also and then this is the name of the pi cap which is pc1 which is pi cap one so column column one this column size is is called column one as you can see we are, i did my column um column naming here column one have five numbers using the um using the column schedule that came from the soft from the from the software which is the um the after design as you can see it here so this is the column schedule here okay which i've also named all my column as you can see here and then count them so which which when i'll go and do my column detailing because um column detailing for for pi is different from what we from what used to do before as you can see that this is um pi um column detail for pi as you can see there so you can see how it is shown how you should show the two dimensions and sorry show the pi and also show the um show the columns in there you can see that okay so let me just go on right now and then move into the next okay moving now to the next one i'm doing right now Okay, so this this is the pi detail which I also show you later, which is the pi detail you can see there how the pi and uh, is being arranged and also a spiral um a spiral type of um links as you can see there. Okay, and also showing the pi uh, the, the 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 depth of the pi button, but this is just a sample that came. But for this year, this pi was designed to thirty meters. This for this for this um, project here. Okay, so let me come back to this now and then. The, off right now 
so here right now i wanna go and then let me just adjust this line here to come down a bit here okay that's fine that's fine okay so right now our finished um grade level which is our dpc level first our dpc level from the from from our, our dpc level is um is 600 so i'll just add, bring this down a bit right now after I'll, i would have to do that level here okay so right again right now i will not begin to dimension this so i have to go and change um, my dimension um layer then um, style first to dimension i will ui um 75 75 and then set as current set current and i'll say close and i'll not begin to dimension it now so the, you have to dimension your pie cap because it is from the, it is from the dimension that they will know how to how they will now position their their pie and to get how to dimension it perfectly that you have to go and copy a sample of what you have here and this one will show you how to dimension your pie and also to name it too okay so i'll just copy what i have in this sample here okay and then go all the way down here okay so right now we're not going to that dimension i'll take this off and then keep it somewhere here first and then click on then um come here and say choose this and then change my line because if you don't change this line you will see what we happening here you can see what's happening here right now so always change your line to layer after don't use this bit for anything it is just to show this lean concrete here once you're done with the lean concrete you can change it back to layer okay and then i'll go here right now and choose 75 our ui and then click on this place right now and then see how this is being done so you can see that this is dimension first for from edge of the pie cap to the to the um to the pie center as you can see there then from there to the pie cap center line which is the column um, center and then all the way down okay let me just show you that right now so we click on this right now to this first dimension it first and then click on this icon but i know that most of you don't have your own this thing um set this way so i'll just type d dim dim count which simply means dimension continue and i'll continue again from here right now and then i'm i am meant to bring out an um a center line for this pie as you can see that we have this so i can just i can just go and copy what i what i have here right now and copy from this point center point and then come here and place center point here okay that's fine and then i can now go and choose now i can choose to remove this that and smaller one that was here before and then remove it and then so if you check that now this line is in the center of this column as you can see this is 175 and from here again to here 175 that's fine and from here to here is 113 and from here to here 113 that's okay so right now now say dim count which simply means dimension continuation and then continue from that point to this point and from here to there and from here to the edge here okay then we are done with that right now now dimension again from this point to this point here and bring that out and again let me just reduce this a bit down a bit and then then continuous then count and then from here to here that's fine okay so you can now see as you can see this how it is here right now you can see there right now is how it is then also you can now show the overall dimension that you have here so the reason for this for the basic reason for this template is that it helps you you will not have to reason again what to do because you because you already have samples of what you have of what to do that is why if you watch many video about this template you will see that it helps a lot in the design and um, most people you, you, can, you can also check on most of our most of our comments and you can see that people are really appreciating what we're doing here on ekidev okay so let me just go back right now now uh, if you want if, if you want this template i would say you should check on every link of our videos on detailing and you will see this stone bridge template because that is what we use to perform our detailing for the past many years okay so right now i'll just go again right now and do the same dimension in here from this point to this point which is to show um this one i'll just go here and keep this here and then dim count i'll just click here right now to continue with the dimension and then click this here also and then from here again to this point here that's not right that's not right because this is actually a square um a square okay 
so let me just um, adjust this first out here a bit sorry and then dimension continues from here to this point here okay and then from there to this point here okay and then from here to here that's fine okay and then again from this point here dimension again from this point to this point and then keep this key. yes that's okay and dimension continues right now and then from here to here and i'll go again right now and then show the overall dimension here okay that's fine so you can now see what i've just done so far and then we can now go here right i can, I can also choose to okay that's fine no no need to bring this out like this it doesn't make sense that i don't like it so just undo undo again okay that's fine okay so right now we have just done this right now so we will now have to name this column here this column is named c1 as you can see it here so i'll just copy copy this right now out again first remove this pi um remove this pi cap name here to it and then copy this out to this place here and call it here c1 okay that's fine and i'll come here again right now now this pi here this pi this pi this pi here has a name, has names, because at the end of everything, we are we are going to show the pi the pi details. What we are showing right now is just the pi cap detail. So we will also show the pi the pi detail, which will look exactly like this. You can see there. So this things also have a name. I can see that this is pi one, so it also had a name. So right now I'll, I'll go and check um, the pi the 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 name of this pi. As you can see that this is pi cap one. So from our from our reports here. From our reports here, this uh, let me open this again. There's a pi design report as you can see it here. So I'll open it right now. This pi one is also the same and uh, moves moves with pi cap one and pi two moves with pi cap two and pi three moves with pi cap three and pi four moves with pi cap four. Okay, so right now I am working on pi one. So I'll just kind of open my pi one design report right now. You can see the pi design report as you can see there you can see the pi design report and you can see how the soil is on the how the soil is so i will, I will show you when i will enter fully on pi design which i'll first of all work on the eight story office building which i'll do the pi foundation design for that eight story office building and i'll show you all that also how to do your pi foundation using this software very very well okay i can see that from the pi design report it is showing that the pi design is suitable as you can see there is showing suitable as you can see that here okay so let me just go right right now and then just um move on to the place right now so this is called this is now pi one so i'll come here right now minimize this minimize this and then come here copy this right now this text looks too big for me let me just check um this text distance i'll just copy this right now this text height sorry then explode it and then check the test height let me see what's the test height here test height is um it's 7.5 so i'll just match it to this right now and say it is 7.5 okay that's fine that's fine and then i'll just remove this right now from here okay and then i'll work on this just now by putting this here and then copy this right now since i know that all these pies right now are caught by one because that could that is what it is on the pi report which i just showed you which is this one here this one here is called pi one so because pi one goes with pi cap one and pi two pi cap two pi three and all that okay or, or pi cap one goes, goes with pi one and all that okay so on that on that sequence so i'll copy it right now and call it p1 because if you check on our template here it is called it's they say we should name it pp because it simply means this pi 2 pi 2 and all that why for the pi cap you just just put c which means the pi cap why pi is just put on the p so right now since this is pi 1 right now just go here and begin to copy um pi and then name it pi 1 because you must have the same pi on the same pi cap so i'll put this right now and put it here and put this here sorry okay that's no this to close and move it out a bit then here right after that, that now from the template here they say we should now um show the pi I'll, I'll just copy this right now copy this right now and then come here and point it here but i will change the name of my pi because here i have pi cap one and i'm not this is the sample but this is a real project here so i'll come here right now and change it to what i have here, which is pc1 and change to pc1 here Okay, that's fine. And then 
right now i am done i am done with okay now to now give the title here title i'll copy this again right now to this place here now this is called um pi cap one as you can see there pi cap one i can so i'll come here right now and say plan of pi cap not pi cap two but pi cap one all right pi cap one and then with pi p which you can see that with pi two but on this place is pi one so i'll come here right now and say pi one so the title of this one right now becomes from here first of all it is it is read by saying pi cap one and stroke colon one okay but here right now how this is now read by saying plan of pi cap one in brackets pi one so the so 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 the so so the pi name under this four pi cap or, or this pi cap one is pi one Okay, now I will now have to count how many uh, how many number of this shape of pi cap I have. So I have a um, pi cap that have four number of pi's inside to be one, to be to be one, all right, two, three, okay. I think three numbers. So uh, I think help me and check if it's three numbers. Let me do it again. One, two, three. Okay, yes. So we have three numbers of pi cap having a four pies inside here so i'll come here right now and change it to um three okay to three here that's fine so i have three numbers i can choose to uh, remove this number here and just name it and just use that number symbol to call it like this okay three number does okay that's fine okay so right now well i have done this right now so the next to do right now is now check on this now cut a section so i'll just copy what i have what what what, what i have here right now copy this right that's why you have this that right this template is, is very is very very needed because it will help you you won't think of many things again you will just be knowing what to do at every point in time and that makes you fast okay so right now I'll just go and then um, move this a bit to this place and move this a bit to this place here okay so if i cut through if i um let me place it here and then move it again it again okay i'll move this let me just reduce this um tinder line out a bit keep this here and then i'll move this up a bit here and then move it back with a bit and keep this here okay that's fine can just to just leave it as it okay that's fine so right now let me take if there if there is the same line of cutting okay yes that's fine okay so if i sorry if i cut this one right now you know the first one we did before was the section this section so if i cut to this um let me move this back again right now so if i cut through this if i cut through this now if i cut this this pie cap now what i'll be seeing is this because i'll first of, if if i cut this right now what i'll begin to see is first of all i'll see this column which is here and I'll see this pi cap, this, this sorry, these two pies here, which is here. As you can see, this these two pies here, which is here. And then that in that's or then I'll now see what is now contained, which I'm seeing all these levels and all that. Okay. So this is now this one. So I will now come here and then I'll remove this first of all because I'm done with this. And then bring this one downward a bit to be able to name this one and choose to shrink this one up a bit and keep this here and then i'll go and I'll, i'm done with this i'll just take this off just now okay and i'll go and check um what how this one is being named okay this is named like this so i'll just copy it right now copy it out okay and come to where i work now okay and then come here and paste this here okay so this is i mean number dot three number dot so i'll come here right now and just come here right now and say um copy and then come here and say paste it because this is just a section of it and then i'll come here right now and then paste this here match up at this right now to check if they have the same um size okay that's fine and then move this here i can choose to change here to some bb if i if i want but let me just start with a okay i'll just click and choose to be a right now okay so you can now see that basically we are now this was the one that we, we did manually with our hand 
but you cannot see how we have just done this in less than how many minutes you can see that right now so i will just take this off right now and then we have just done this um pi cap join for this for the for this four pi for this four pi cap arrangement here we have just done this so i can just move this right now and keep this here and then form a, another block here this block i'm forming another one now simply means that I, I have done com i have done this one complete i can choose to change it to green switch which means that green simply means any any anyone that is here has been done completely as you can see there right now okay i keep this here okay so what i've just done right now is just the form plan i have not yet done the um how to put all your um pi and also your pi cap reinforced as as you can see from the sample here so i will also show you this later first of all i'm trying to get all my form plans which is like this so once you are done with our form plan we will now begin to draw all the bars into it okay so right now i'll before i begin to draw all my bars in my pie cap and also my pies out as you can see the these bars here i'll first of all finish all my all my form plans for different kind type of pie so we have just done for four pies which you can see it here you can see it here right now so we will now also create for also pie three pie two and pie one as you can see it right now okay so right now um you cannot see how this is being done perfectly and you can see how we are trying to use um this stone bridge template this stone bridge template now detail um pi now so my next class i'll be showing full detailing of this pie which i'll also show you guys um how to detail um the pie section as you can see it here and also all these things and also um the column section and all that and then also how to put your pie cap connecting beams because as you can see that there, there are beams connecting this pie cap as you can see there which simply means gb which is simply means ground beam one this is ground beam four and showing the depth and the width as you can see there and then you could one can choose to call it um cb which which simply means connecting beam one can choose one can still choose to call it um um pb which simply means plant beam one can choose to call it gb which simply means great beam or let me say grand beam they still mean the same thing so me i me i choose to call it um gb which is grand beam most times I, most times i used to call it cb which simply means connecting beams so they are all the same but just that if you're trying to use any of them let me say gb or cb or p or pl or, or pb sorry maintain them using in all not to use um gb here and then use pb here it will cause it will, it will cause some um, confusion as a site okay so right now i'm i'm i've just done for this for this one which i've which i've seen us do here right now okay so in my next class right now i will show you how to we will have to also generate all this and then and then put our bars in our pie cap and also um how to um get this done for you this um um this um bending radius as you can see there and i'll show you also how to um how to calculate for this and also there's a software which is called quantity calculator which is also on our ekide store on our ekide store so there's we that that software we we will use it to know the how uh, to know the quantity of concrete that will contain on this pie cap and also the pies because as a good civil engineer you are meant to at site or even you are you are meant to know quantity so that software helps you to get the quantity of um bags of cement the quantity of your uh, of your sand and the quantity of your coarse aggregate okay and also bags of cement okay that's fine so i will just, i will just show you that later and then also right now okay so now most of you are having issues so i am done with this right right now currently because i said in my next that i will show you how to draw the next one we, we like we also draw for the pie cap for the pie cap three pie cap four and pie cap um two okay two three and four okay because we have just done pie cap um pie cap one which is this pie cap point here that's what we have just done i've shown you how, how, how to create the sections and all that as you can see here so on my next class i'll be showing you how to um put down put down this reinforcement now most of you doesn't know how to use this stone bridge template that's why you keep you people uh most of the people keeps on messaging me on whatsapp and they said their own is not working now once you get let me just close it right now once you get this once you download this template or or, or once you're done 
processing this and template and downloaded it and download it first of all copy it i think i don't have anyone here on my download but let me see i don't have anyone here okay once you have done that the, once you have downloaded it it will be on your download button on, on your download um folder here just copy it copy that zip file as you can see that did that that this is a zip file copy this zip file into your document folder and paste it on your document folder now once you paste it you will see it appear something like this here on your, on your document folder now unzip it just say extract here now once you click on extract here you will see that it will be just like this now most times most times if you're trying to download your soft this your tumbi software you can see that maybe you did the first one there was an issue in this thing, network and and and, and then you may can do it again you will see that this thing right now will not be will not begin to have what they call extension name some, like something like this it will have bracket one because that file is already there existing now if this happens it this stone software will not work again because the because the name must be as it is from the company as it is like this so make sure you don't have that extension name added to it so as you can see my own here on my document folder that is pasted here you can see that there is nothing like extension name to to it like this because if you have something like this to it it will not work or you can change the name again that software will not work again so you must not have this kind of a uh, name or or go and change the name so make sure that you don't have this kind of um five uh, five extension name to it okay okay so right now once you're um copied your zip file into your document folder extract it and then you will see it like this please check this name very well you this is how the name should should i look like stonebridge underscore template 2023 underscore release underscore 2.5.847 no other thing should be added back back to it okay so right now once you open it right now now again you also see all these folders again and the same thing happens here confirm the name that it, it is like this and then open this place now most of you want once you open this place here you can copy this thing out you can copy it out and then go and put it on your desktop here don't do it if you do it like this it will not work because if you do it like this when you go and then open this this place here when you open it like this when you open it like this and then go and click on any of this tab you're going to see errors now you now you're going to see some errors don't open it this way so never you copy it out just close never you copy it out and out of that folder always keep it on that folder so if you have done that before go and put it back on that folder on where the, on, on where the folder is as you can see it here it is on document folder uh, and also i have already i have also unzipped it out and then you can also see it here as you can see it here and then you can now see it here open this place and then open it directly from this place okay so once it opens once it opens, if you click on anywhere now, it will open because it because everything is being followed sequentially. So if you have if 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 your own is having issue, just follow what I have just done right now on this video and then follow it up. And if you're still having issue, then you can now send me a message on WhatsApp, which I will guide you on how to get it done. All right. So let me just um let me just wait for it to open right now so for most of you for 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 most of you having issue on your on your software this is how it has been done okay so this is now the stone bridge template now most of you that don't know about this Stonebridge template i would say that you should watch our videos because i have done many videos on that and on and on this also how it is being done that once you're okay like as you can see now this drawing was done with putter structure now if you copy this drawing now into the stone bridge template then let me just copy it now into the storm bridge templates you will see how um it let me just write and then copy now if you check i, I, I have copied it now now if you check what this software gave you here you can see how your beams are being done as you can see it here now once you come right now and paste it into this storm bridge template as you can see it here automatically it will just arrange for you it will, it will, it will just um you can just just watch what happened right now and paste and then paste it now and wait for it to do okay just hold on for it to finish up okay so now you can see how your beams have been how are now 
optimized compared to what was here before you cannot see that in less than how many how many seconds you cannot see how your beams are being optimized so by the end of everything if if you follow all my uh, all my training on these templates you will have your joints like this as you can see you have your joints like this you can see the column here the column you have your joints you can see the slab you can see the beams you have all your beams like this so this is just the first stage of what we have just done so once you paste it automatically to be it, it, it now begin to optimize for you now watch all my videos about this template and then you'll be able to know how this template is very very valuable okay so but basically right now what we are what what i'm showing you right now is on pi so i'll just close that right now it's on pi foundation which we have just done our first uh, our first session here and as you can see what we have just done so far so right now i'll be ending this um, class for today so if you have any question regarding what i've done so far i'll say you should just um drop the um the message down on the down on the comment section and if and if maybe you you want this template i'll say you should check on our on all our videos or on our link like on Check on on check on sorry check on all our video description and then you will be able to get um these templates because there, there is a link on the template and also if you can find the link you then you can message us on via 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 and whatsapp and then we will also guide you on how to get that okay so right now just close this up and just don't save and then okay i'll just move in right now to, i'll just close right now because we are almost done we okay we are done for this class now if you have not subscribed to our channel for the past many years or months that you've been watching our videos i would say that you should um, please go subscribe so that you don't miss any updates when we will be um, um producing more videos on design and also detailing because here on LKDL we train future civil and structural engineers and many people have been testifying that um they are that that um that um when they are done when they are done in school they have or they went for their first interview and they got and they got employed because of what we do here on ekidel because here on ekidel we teach you both manual design and also um, software design but if you want to learn more i would say you should go and enroll for what we call ekidel mentorship class we will train you specially and we use a live screen why why as you're working as you're working as you're working on your screen we will be seeing your screen and then and then we will be telling you what to do and also most times we, we will also share our screen so it's like a it 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 it, it, it is like a live screen and then you will learn more on design of your first concrete building and also structures like bridges and all that okay so right now i will be ending this class for today right now and then see you we love you and if you have any questions so far feel free to ask questions and then goodbye and god bless you okay bye